What's up? Uh, Lighter Monkey here, as I'm known on YouTube. Uh, just throwing up, uh, just wanted to kind of throw up a little video of some things that I observed with the Zenex CR, X, X, RCMK XCR. Uh, this is just the base version, this isn't the 1200. Um, I uh, got another video up of it running a little. Like I said, I'm going to make some more videos. I bought a little GoPro kind of thing, strapped it to a helmet. Um, this is just a, just a little video, just showcasing some stuff. Uh, right now, you can notice I got the DDM Dominator pipe on there. Um, I tried the Victory pipe for the DVXL, and it didn't seem to fit right. Um, just where the, where the uh, header connects to the exhaust, like right here. It, it straight from the thing straight from the gate it has like a curve in it and then it makes it so it doesn't seal really well right here with the uh, victory one that's that's for the DBXL um, yes and I, and I hated that it's it's just straight right from the right from the header there's a curve that just straight curves like this way and it um, and it makes it so the seal isn't very well and you can't seal it worth a shit like that's the dumbest design for an exhaust like a a curve right off of the header because that unless if, if it's all one piece then it's not that bad but this one was two separate pieces just like this is and like most exhausts are yeah so uh, the dominator one works good I just had to drill a small little hole I don't know if you can see it uh, behind the pull start there I had to drill a small hole right there uh, I thought maybe it was gonna start to melt the plastic that's right here you can see where my finger's pointing. There's plastic right underneath this, and the kind of the top, the part of this exhaust is touching it, but um, it, it doesn't, because I guess it doesn't get very hot, like right there. So that's so that's a good thing. Uh, of course, got the. Uh, if anyone's wondering about the dynamite kill switch, this is a this is a dynamite kill switch. You don't have to pick up the killer bee. That's sixty bucks. This is like thirty-five dollars and works the same as the killer bee. Uh, of course, got the 845s. 845 as the as the steering. 845 as the throttle. Um, yeah, and, and another thing I did notice is on the uh, is on the clutch carrier in here. The clutch carrier here. They're actually currently out of stock of clutch carriers for this thing. Um, the one the thing that did happen is the bearings inside the clutch carrier took a crap. They the one of the the bearings that were in there one or both of them just froze up and then it and then I just shredded the inside of this plastic clutch carrier so if you can whenever they get them in stock if you have an XCR like this and you don't have the upgraded version you might you want to get the aluminum ones I they, they were out of stock so I just ordered the one of the plastic clutch carrier and yeah. and just got uh, some fast eddy bearings or something with it so those should hold up a lot better than the stock bearings that are inside that clutch carrier um, some other upgrades, uh, you can kind of tell, probably just from the, got a low C5 dome air filter with the outer wear. Um, this is a 668 that's on this Zenoa, it's on this Zenoa 290 engine that I, be, that I rebuilt. Um, because the 990 that was on it, I've used it multiple for a whole bunch of other, yeah, that, uh, carb. I've used the 990 for a whole bunch of other cars, and it, it froze up. Something happened to the 990 that was on it. Um, so I ordered a, another one. Ordered, like, the really good 990 that they have, that they had on, on special on Black Friday for, like, 54 bucks. Um, but, I mean, you know, I've... It look, it's clean right now, but, I mean, I've cleaned it. It's in the dirt. This thing is a fucking amazing, though. This thing is an amazing car in the dirt. Of course, got the shock covers. You want to try to protect your shocks and stuff because they, you know, when you're jumping it and when there's dirt flying everywhere, you want to you want to try to protect them. And same thing with the filter, you know, which is still a good idea, even though you have the outer wear on it. If you're running it in dirt, like, uh, sorry, I was pointing showing down at the car. Even if you have the outer wear on it and you're running it in dirt, you want to still clean this thing about maybe, I don't know, uh you know, run it like two tanks in the dirt or something and then clean it out because it just, that's the last thing you want is dirt getting into your fucking, this, this filter seems to be pretty fucking good, but that's the last thing you want is, sorry, that filter seems to be pretty good, but that, that is the last thing you want is dirt getting into your engine because that happened on mine 
that's why I had to rebuild this. It's got a new, uh, it's got a new head, and that's why I'm re-breaking it in. It's got a new head, had a polished piston. This is like a performance head. Pretty much makes it like a 320, maybe even a little more, a little faster than a 320 possibly. Um, got an 8,000 uh, clutch spring in there. Uh, and I haven't, I mean, I'm planning to do a lot of upgrades. This plate for one, this chassis plate right here, the chassis braces, uh, they're still plastic, but I mean, it's thick plastic. So, I mean, like that's, unless you're flying it off of 10, 20 foot jumps, like this is not going to break very easily. Uh, I got a 5100 battery inside there. Um... Yeah, and you can kind of see how I had to, if you're looking at throwing a Dominator on here, you can kind of see how I had to do it. Like I had to, there was a, the little custom bracket that came with it. I kind of had to bend it a tiny bit and then put it on that certain way, just like, just like it's showing. And then this little bracket, you know, drill a hole, of course, right there. And I don't, I reached out to DDM because they send me the, they sent me the wrong little, uh, like hose clamp that connects the header and the exhaust. Uh, I have this one on here. This is just this is honestly just radiator hose, and it's it's holding up good. It's not burning out or anything because I mean it's you know it's radiator hose. It can it can go to some pretty high temps. They sent me the other one, but just for uh, just for future, if you get a uh, if you get this pipe and you want to throw it on a <coughs> excuse me, if you want to throw it on a uh, DBXL or you want to throw it on an XCR. Just uh, if this doesn't seem like it's the right size, this little, this little um, like radiator kind of hose. It's like a blue one it comes with. Like if you just you're trying to fit it on and it just will not go on no matter what the fuck you do. Um, you know, just reach out to DDM and he sent me a the, a bigger one, the one that's the right size for free. I just haven't stuck it on. This is working, so I mean I'm not. Who gives a shit for the moment anyway? But. Uh, yeah, um, you know, thanks for, thanks for watching, and, uh, you know, uh, like I said, look forward to more videos, I got a little, like, uh, a little dash cam, kind of, you know, $50 GoPro, uh, I was trying to make a video of it driving around and testing it with a little GoPro that I got on, like, a helmet, but it, uh, it died, I forgot to charge the fucking thing, but, um, yeah, uh, thanks for, thanks for, uh, tuning in, like the video if you want, you know, either way, it's, it's all good, uh, thanks, bye, have a good one.